And this is Adam Fantilli, and you're listening to the Blue Jackets Radio Network. This is Adam Fantilli, and you're listening to the Blue Jackets Radio Network. Perfect, man. Thank you. I appreciate Sweet. it. Uh, cheers. Where do I go here? Oh, I'm going to grab Natcher, and then we're just going to go upstairs. Sounds good. How's it going? How's everybody doing here? Good. How are you? Way? How's it going? Big, big news, I guess. Oh, yeah. How are you? Yeah. Congratulations. How's it going? Yeah. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Hey? Let's get this done. Come in here. All right. What's the story? What's the, on the, on the pen? Uh, my, like, coach when I was in novice mites, um, was at my draft party this week, and this is a gift he gave me to, to use on my first contract. I don't think he knew when it would be, but. That's awesome. How's it going? Oh, come on. Hi. What are you doing? Dab me up. <laughs> I got mom. Done. I got mom on FaceTime, too. Oh, okay. She wants to see you. Oops, yeah, uh-huh. How do I flip this? There, wait, there, wait. Do it for me. I got it. There you What's go. up, Mama? I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll just go for that in a second. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Just need to sign in two places. I already signed it. So, there we go. It's right there, home address. You want to witness? Yeah, sure, yeah. why not? Yeah. <laughs> sign as a witness on both lines. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Do you need, can you have two witnesses? Yeah, there. yeah we can do two. Gavel, I want you to be the other witness. Yeah. Yeah. Get in here, bud. Oh, love good. it. Sweet. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's awesome. Adam Fantilli. He wanted to be here. He has signed his entry-level contract. He's not going back to college. He's going to be in the lineup on opening night. What does success look like these first few weeks? How do you want to get off on the right foot as you start your NHL career? Yeah, just being here at development camp, and then uh, I know we got training camp coming up after that, and uh, everything in between. I'll just be training, trying to get stronger and faster, and be the best version of myself come come game one. Shooting percentage, eh? Send that one to Toronto. Hey, where's the actual Raph? I can have some words with him. Three. Nice pass. Good jump, good jump. Two. Now you call it, eh? <laughs> yeah! I can't believe that went in. That was crazy. I hit him right in the crack. Good job. Good job, fellas. Good job. Good job. All right. Show him what you got. Yeah. Why Avalon? I always liked that area, and uh, you know, I started looking at houses down there and drove by one that's just recently being built, and uh, moved in a month after, and then met Meredith the next the next day. So it was great. <laughs> So I grew up coming down here, spending my summers down here with my family. And then I was actually living exactly next door when John and I met. Um, that was in 2018. 
I invited her on jet ski ride and I guess kind of chat in there. There's a lot of no wake zones, so you're going slow there and having conversations through that. And it just kind of all fell into place and felt right. And uh, it was great. Here's the camera. Huh? It's great watching her get older. She's, she's growing up really, really fast. I didn't think it'd go that fast. But, um, yeah, it's special. You know, you get to spend the summer with your family. And, uh, Whole family gets to spend the summer with her, right? Whoa, she's gonna be a soccer player, I think. She kicks more than anything, so, right? Maybe hockey, my dad keeps trying to get her maybe into that, so we'll see. We're here at my parents' home where I grew up. We're doing a big weekend here for my uh, high school golf outing. That's Katie, my sis, younger sister. That's Kristen, my older sister. What's your name? Yeah. That's Cameron. What are you, my niece? And what's your name? Logan. Logan. <laughs> That's my other niece. Uh, living room, obviously it's kind of upgraded over the years, but uh, always had massive family room because there's a ton of us. This is, I don't know, kind of turned into like, I guess you'd say a trophy room, but <laughs> my dad loves all my trophies that I have, so he keeps them and we got the Hobie Baker that I won in, in college. It's a Lady Bing award that I won one year and Boston College award and anything gets sent to my house, any kind of package, my dad thinks it's something to do with hockey. So he just opens it up and he puts it somewhere in the house where he thinks he wants it and he keeps it. My room's still here, me and my brother. We lived in this far room over here. We had bunk beds, and we lived in here for, well, until I went to USHL, but a lot of the stuff's the same. We obviously got, I got a bigger bed. Coming home from college, and me and my brother were still in twins, so I was like, Mom, if you let me stay here, I need, <laughs> need a bigger bed. So she got me a bigger bed, and then now, we got the crib for our daughter, No, whenever we spend a few days here, so. Um, same crib you use, Same crib I use, same crib Katie used, my brother, Kristen, so it's funny because at my wife's parents' house, they have the same thing. So they put the baby crib that my wife used, Meredith, and now our daughter uses both our cribs. So um, yeah, it's awesome, it's cool. This is my dad's uh, garage. It's pretty messy. He's got a ton of projects in here. He loves building stuff out of wood. I don't even know if the lights work, but he gets all this wood from his parents' wood lot in Vermont, cuts down trees up there, brings them down here, and then he just, just builds stuff. He built me and my wife a massive G out of wood. And then and when our wedding, we had everyone sign it. And then we hung it up at the house and he built it from scratch. So, so this, is, this is a little wood lot. <laughs> he's gonna love this. I don't know how many fingers he's almost chopped off back there. My mom's like, you're done in the garage. But he loves it back there. It's like his happy place. That or the rink, either one. But that's about it. That's our home right there. Today we're having our annual golf outing for Gloucester Catholic. John Coleman who was the principal. Was, him and I kind of like say, you know, let's do this fundraiser. And now it's become their, one of their biggest fundraisers. Thank you guys all for being here. It's a special, special school for you know, me and my family. So anything that we could do to give back to the kids there is great. You know, every year we raise any, any, anywhere between 50 and 70,000. And uh, it goes directly to the kids. The Goudreau family has been incredibly generous to Gloucester Catholic. Um, all of the proceeds from the tournament go to tuition assistance, which helps uh, our families, and especially the families in financial need, afford a Catholic education. Hey, how are you? Doing? Thanks for coming again. Yeah, good to see you too. I, I would say that 90% of our families at Gloucester Catholic receive some sort of assistance, whether it's scholarship money or whether it's just financial aid. Um, it's incredibly important. Gloucester Catholic wouldn't be there if it wasn't for families like the Gaudreaux's and wasn't for events like this. LJ! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy! It's where I went to high school and a special place to me and my family. You see a lot of old familiar faces, old teachers you know you went to school with and your old principal and old classmates and it's a great tournament. Everyone says they love it and every year most of them realize how special it is for these kids and like I said it's a great day and probably one of my favorite days of the summer. Nope. No. Yup. <laughs> <laughs>
What do you mean no? He goes nope. <laughs> that was that was a little close though. Uh, it's all right. Still found the bottom of the cup. Yeah, That's all right. That they just continue the incredible legacy um, of our hockey program, but not just our hockey program. The Goudreau family has been a legacy family. And again, they don't just give back, but they're involved. We are built on a culture of family, and uh, the Goudreaux's just, they live that every day for us. No one's celebrating. Woo! You know, it's a special place to us. It, it, meant, it meant a lot to us when we were growing up, getting to attend school there, and now we get to you know, a little bit of an opportunity to kind of give back. I know my whole family really gets excited at uh, the opportunity to, to come out here and try to raise as much money as we can for the school and, and go from there. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like one time Johnny Joe! Let's go! Go to your happy place for the summer. Enjoy your time away from the game. Enjoy time with your family. Enjoy alone time, whatever it is. Whatever you do, this is where you really recharge the batteries. Oh, watch this though. What do I say? Kareem, <laughs> back to me. Not done. Oh. All right, we're done. Sports sucks. I thought you were like just gonna baby it and then it went that I far. I tried to just hit it and it went far. Are you gonna work out tips today or not? How are your tips? Good? <laughs> Good? You're not bad. You're not bad. Just celebrate in, in a straight line. It is 708 on the wake up call. We have company in studio, the captain for your Columbus Blue Jackets, Boone Jenner. Happy to be back here with you. So I think last time we talked to you was on the phone and we uh, congratulated you on being engaged to be married. So when's the big day, isn't it coming up? Two and a half weeks and uh, my, my fiance Maggie and I are super excited. Uh, a little, a little nervous, I guess now, but um, no, I, all the heavy lifting's done for that, so we're uh, we're excited to just enjoy it. This is the Inside Edge. I'm Bob McElligot, uh, ready to get back at it as the Blue Jackets are opening training camp this week at Nationwide Arena. It's already been a very busy week naming Pascal Vincent as the new head coach. Pascal is prepared for this opportunity. He has earned it. While the circumstances are less than ideal, he's a very good coach. He's a good coach. He's a, he's a terrific human being. Our plan is to be a highly competitive team that will be working extremely hard, but also we want to make sure that our fans are proud to be Columbus Blue Jackets fans. What we realized is if this team works hard and compete, they will support us. And they're gonna see it. I mean, words are cheap, I get it. There's nothing I can say today that can convince anyone. I want them to come here and watch us. That's how we're gonna convince them. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey guys, I want to say a few things. I have a vision. No, we have a vision for you guys, for us, the organization, for our fans, for the Blue Jackets. And that vision is very simple. It's excellence. Excellence in everything we do. I've been coaching for quite some time. And what I know is champions are built in the dark. What does that mean? It means everything you do when you're alone, the way you live, the way you train, the way you conduct yourself. We, I heard the word respect, standards. That's what it takes to be a champion. And that's our vision. How we're gonna achieve that? Well, it starts now, right? And I'm gonna tell you something. Working hard is not gonna impress us. It's not. We expect it from everyone in the gym, on the ice, during practices. What will impress us, you're focused, highly competitive, how you behave, the respect you show, but most importantly to me is how you make the people around you better. If you make the guy next to you better, we will see it, we will. I see it in two ways here. You're either sitting in one chair or the other. The first one is you have a job and you want to protect it. And it could be your ice time, it could be your job description for the team, it could be your role, or you're either in the, on the other chair. And that chair is you want to steal a job. That's, where, that's why you're here. You want to steal a job, maybe it's a role, maybe it's a, it's a spot on the roster, Whatever it is, you're here or there. There's no C option. Regardless of your status, you're here to keep it or you're here to steal it. It happened in the past, last year, 10 years ago. We don't care, it starts now. Send it behind the net to Johnny Gaudreau. Put it out in front, and there's a score! Good play. That's it. A little left, boys. Three, three, three! How many years have you been doing this? 27. 27. Do you want to go 30? It's an option if I want it, but I don't know. Mine's sticking around so I don't lose my marbles on the young guys. You lost, you lost your marbles on us last year. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> but it's not, it's not like... At least we don't take it personally, right? No, it's not my inclination, though. I don't Maybe it was your fault. <laughs> J. 
Sabres clear it away, but not out. Fantilli, long shot, there's a score! That's it, kid. That boy's gonna work. Oh, wait, Danny. Hey, for the record, Mo is Fantilli, right? I haven't quite figured this out. Why Mo? Because I think his name's Adamo, right? That's right. Okay. I found, I found, I found that out yesterday for the record. Drop voice, hey? I know, I think call it. Here we go. Time to put on your jackets. Tonight, from Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C., the National Hockey League presents your Columbus Blue Jackets and the Washington Capitals in preseason action. One preseason game remaining on the schedule for the Blue Jackets. This is about the final dress rehearsal. It's about some of these guys getting one final look and deciding if they're going to make the opening night roster or not. I'm trying to think the right words to say or I talk to you because it matters. And I've been saying the word excellence. And for me, what it means is we're gonna make I'm gonna make mistakes tonight. You're gonna make mistakes. We all do, right? But excellence in your effort. That's all I'm looking for. And this is an exhibition. That's the last lap before the real race starts. What are you willing to do for the guys sitting next to you? All year. Do it right. Do it right. Do it right. We're there for each other. All you and I. And that's how we're going to do it. Cat's ass. All right? Buller, let's go. Uh, up front, we got Tex, Booner, Bemmer. On the back end, Pro Receiver. And now we're in the nets. Let's go for it. NHL lineups. For both of these teams, it is the final tune-up before the regular season starts. The puck is down, the Blue Jackets win the draw, and we're underway. You finally get two NHL lineups facing off against each other in the preseason, and they just go back and forth up and down the ice. There's no waiting into this game. It's just, this is NHL pace from the start. These guys are ready to play and have a great test for the Blue Jackets here to see where they are heading into the regular season. I thought we played a good period, right? We played a good period, but I think we can be tighter than that. I think our gap can be better. I think the neutral zone, we can be tighter. And offensively, we need to bring more pucks in it. Texier up the left wing side. Femstrom from driving the net, gives it to Femstrom from back to the middle. And there's a score! Boo Jenner! The Blue Jackets strike first. It's a one to nothing game. Here's John Carlson, swings it left side. They come back over to Nick Dowd, and Dowd, and oh, he got through traffic, and now a shot from the left side, and that beats first Lincoln for the score. T.J. Oshie lost control, Lucas Johansson throws it toward the net, and it did not get in, Provorov comes sliding behind Elvis Merzlikens, and he kept that puck out of the net. Oh, well, when the puck comes down, there's a potential that when the, yeah, that's in the net, I believe. Yep. Yep. Now it's Fantilli. On the counterattack, the puck bounced on him, and then he just got drilled by T.J. Oshie. And now the Blue Jackets and the Capitals get uh, together after the whistle. All right, we're in this together. We're a bunch of wolves. Somebody gets hurt, somebody gets hit. We don't like it, we get that. It doesn't matter. Not, you don't have to drop the mitts, but you're sending a message that you don't quit us. You don't quit us. Nobody will. So we need some, you know, some... Swagger. You're going, you're not coffee, you get some swagger. Blue Jackets are trailing the Washington Capitals by the score of two to one. With one period of regulation remaining here in Washington, D.C. Sillinger with a uh, shot. It's denied the rebound and the score. Oh, Sillinger. Adam cuts to the right wing boards, gives to Pearl Marchenko. Back to Fantilli with a shot, and he scores! Adam Fantilli breaks the tie! Patrick Lining, no chance to shoot at the empty net initially. Now there's a chance of a score! Patrick Lining puts it into the empty net. And the Blue Jackets in their final preseason game, they come into Washington 
They scratch, they claw, and they find a way. And the Blue Jackets seal the victory by the final score of four to two. We're looking to earn respect around the league and, and uh, we're looking to compete and play fast-paced and with structure. I thought um, we did a lot of good things defensively. And in the third period, we show, showed some character to come back in this game, and we played the proper way, too. So, I mean, it's good for the team. Just two days from now, the Blue Jackets will open the 2023-2024 season. It all started yesterday with the announcement of the final roster coming out of camp. Cole Sillinger, Sean Corrali, Adam Fantilli, Johnny Gaudreau, Justin Danforth, Liam Foody, Patrick Laine, Boone Jenner, Alexander Texier, Eric Robinson, Emil Bemstrom, Karol Marchenko, Kent Johnson, Jack Roslevic. The defense, Andrew Pig, Zach Wierenski, Ivan Provorov, Jake Bean, Adam Boquist, Eric Branson, and Damon Severson. The goaltenders, Spencer Martin, who was claimed off waivers from Vancouver, is here with Elvis Merzlikens. It's going to be a fun year in the Metropolitan Division, isn't it? And we'll see you at Nationwide Arena Thursday night for the Blue Jackets and Flyers. If I make it, it's in the video. If I miss it, it's not. Deal? Yeah. That was so ugly. Ah. I suck at basketball. Video boys. Yeah, I told you. I told you. You're, you're <laughs> <laughs> Hockey's fun, man. Yeah, it's the best job in the world, don't we? That's behind the battle. <laughs>